Hello, welcome to another edition of Hashtag Now Smoking. I'm your host, Gary Korb, executive editor from CigarAdvisor.com. And today I'm joined by Kong Pham once again. And we're going to be smoking the Hoya de Nicaragua Antonio, Connecticut. Connecticut. Now, the Antonio brand mm -hmm. has been around a while and it's yes. known for what? Power. Yeah. Strength. Mm -hmm. Lots of flavor. Right. And Kong, you are one of the buyers for Famous Smoke Shop and you yes. buy Hoya de Nicaragua, right? That's correct. Uh, this is uh, distributed by uh, Drew Estate. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so, so this, this brand, the Antonio brand, has been around for quite a while, but uh, I'm excited to try this new Connecticut. Yeah, me too. Um, this is, I think, a first for them, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. Like, like as Kong said, it's the Antonio 1970 is known for being, you know, I, I, at least at its time, I guess by today's standard, it's not as, you know, Hardy as right, it yeah. might have been, you know, considered a one time, but it's right. still a good strong scar. I had one last week actually. So let's take a look at this Corona Gorda. My favorite size. It is. Yeah, it is a nice size. I like these dimensions, and it is yeah. a five and a quarter by forty-six. And we'll get more into the blend and all the other stuff, mm -hmm. you know, the backstory on it. Um, the wrapper is from Ecuador. It's Connecticut, and of course, the interior is all Nicaraguan, right? Like most uh, Hoya de Nicaraguas, and it's got a really nice triple seam cap construction is flawless yeah, it's really good it's well packed i'm not feeling right. any soft spots right. i like the red in the uh gold, the gold. against the uh, mm -hmm. you know the blonde wrapper and uh, let's see if it i'm not getting much of an aroma off of this but you know we're in this restaurant and right. there's always like restaurant remnant restaurant uh, <laughs> smells so that <laughs> kind of interferes it smells like a burger oh and here i'm getting a little oh wow hold on a little um I'm getting a little say, bit of grassy. Yeah, grass like and hay. cocoa. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting a little cocoa note in there too. Surprisingly for a but Nicaraguan uh, in internals. Really? You know. Okay. Well, well let's uh, cut it. Let's do it. And um, I'm going to do a V cut for this one. I don't usually do V cuts, but because it's kind of a small format, I'm going to see how it goes with this. The draw is good. Yeah. Not too loose, not too firm. Nope. I'm getting that's, a real leathery taste, though. That's a perfect draw. Yeah. You're getting kind of a leathery taste? Not quite. Oh, uh, I I'm, am. I'm still getting that barnyard really? uh, taste to it. No, I mean, this is like handbag leather taste, yeah. man. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Anyhow, All right, let's so let's light her up. You do the, um, well, you spin the cigar. Yes. So that, I, I always uh, do the edges first. Toast it. And then I do this kind of, I see a lot of people do this. They go, round and around and around. Okay. You know, it's, it, it still has that, um, not quite the power of the regular Antonio, right. but it still has that, that kick that you mm -hmm. don't expect from a Connecticut. Right, and I think that was the intention. Um, they wanted to preserve the uh, reputation, I guess you could say, yeah. of the Antonio brand, but like kind of lighten it up a little bit. So it's kind of a, it's supposed to be like a medium body cigar for the most part. Uh, I didn't get any spice or pepper from those first couple of puffs. It was actually really nice. It's nice and creamy and mellow, really. I, I got that, that hay. Mm -hmm. It was almost like uh, reminiscent of Dominican Interesting. tobacco, like, like an olor. But then mm. that flavor dissipated right away, and you're right into that Nicaraguan sweetness. Mm. Well, it is a little bit sweet. Um, and the smoke is really nice and full, and it's kind of, kind of working its way up into my nose naturally, yes. and it's a little peppery up there. Yeah, it's got some pepper to it. It's spicy. Ooh, boy, that, you can really taste it once, once you retrohale that. Ooh. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but it's nice. It's not uh, like, it's burning my face, you know? So, anyway, 
I guess we're off to a pretty good start yeah. here. Let's see what happens when we get more into Act One. Okay, we're well into Act One here. Mm -hmm. I've got a really nice ash going. You see, uh, uh, and uh, mine, a, mine just fell off. It just fell off. So okay, it's okay. it's um, it's a little bit flakier than than the regular Antonio. Mm -hmm. uh, it's but, nice and solid in but color. But it is it's like solid it's, light gray. Look at that. It's but um, it burns nice and even. I know it's going to fall off on camera, so I'm just going to uh, rather than. Uh, Embarrass myself. I will. You're right. It did. It did ash very easily. Yeah. And I'm just breaking it up here. And it, yeah, it is. It is kind of flaky, but it's good. It's it's good. It's firm enough to hold up there. Right. And uh, what flavors are you getting out of it, if anything? Well, the the woodsy flavor is definitely picking up for me. The peppery is is uh, is a little bit more. Uh, well, it's it's dissipating. Yeah. It's dissipating. I noticed that too. Um, um, so you're getting kind of a woody note. Right. I'm getting a little bit of that. Um, it's really uh, more uh, mellow than I expected. You know. Yeah. Let's 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 see what what they say about this cigar here. Let's. Uh, okay. So here we have the um, Hoya de Nicaragua Antonio Connecticut Corona Gorda, as we said, and it is five and a quarter by forty six. It's a nice dimension. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, I like also like six by forty seven, which is, I guess, comparable too. Um, but anyway, the strength, it says the strength is medium. Right. We know it's an Ecuador, Connecticut. It's a really beautiful wrapper, nice and silky. And the binder and filler are Nicaraguan, but they don't really disclose, uh, right. unless you know. I don't hear the buyer. No, no. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, just to give you a little background on the Antonio story, um, it helped jumpstart the modern craze of high octane smoking experiences through the introduction of the Antonio right. brand. And, um, the, uh, the first blend was released about uh, 20 years ago, so it's been around that long. Mm -hmm. And um, they call this the uh, essence of the true Nicaraguan Puro, because okay, so this is an Apuro, the original Antonio is. But um, it says here that the Hoya de Nicaragua Antonio Connecticut maintains the spirit of the original blend, using primarily Nicaraguan tobaccos throughout the blend to offer smokers a fuller bodied experience. And okay. it was. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah. And uh, it's still a good, strong, you know, but well-balanced cigar. And Antonio, being known for its raw, fiery Nicaraguan character, the Antonio Connecticut opts to showcase a new and exciting yet familiar performance. Okay. And um, Mario Perez, who's the factory manager down there, uh, in Toyota, Nicaragua, he says, the creation of a flavor bomb like the rest of the Antonios, but with this wrapper. So, so basically, it's got the Antonio blend right. with this wrapper, which it, it is amazing, isn't it, how the wrapper really does make a difference? Totally changes the cigar. Um, he says, like, we wanted to defy an industry mantra. We knew we could make a truly interesting Connecticut cigar. And it also comes in a couple other sizes. If you're curious, uh, it's a Bellicoso. Uh, it's a 6x54. They have a Robusto, 5x52. I like that. Mm -hmm. And a Toro, 6x50. So, anyway, that's the story of the cigar. And you've been to the factory. Yes, I Tell have. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the, the factory uh, is in uh, Esteli. Right. And, uh, well, I mean, the, the history of, of uh, Hoya de Nicaragua is actually uh, incredible. You have to read mm -hmm. up about it. But right. The factory uh, floor is actually on the second floor. Okay. So you, you walk up, uh, you know, a, a flight of stairs, mm -hmm. and it really opens up to um, to all of these rollers. I mean, it's and it's super clean. It yeah. is pristine, it, beautiful artwork that surrounds the entire mm -hmm. um, uh, the the walls. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what they do there, uh, which is really interesting, is that they they uh, they will give you a tour of of not only the facility but of the tobacco that they use and they talk about its combustibility it's mm -hmm. um you know uh, w what it's used for what right. cigars uh, it's used in mm -hmm. and uh, and and they also give you like a flavor profile of what each one of those um, tobaccos taste like mm -hmm. and then you can blend your own cigar oh that's cool and it's really really <laughs> did you do that i did how'd it come out Fantastic. Is it still I, aging? I I, it's, uh, it's still aging, and I, I, I think it's the number one cigar of the year. Okay. In my book. All right. <laughs> what wrapper did you use? I don't did remember. You, you don't remember? <laughs> I don't. Okay. 
<laughs> it doesn't matter. There was a lot of um, uh, Flor de Cano uh, uh, mixed uh, in with that. A lot that. of Flor de Cano. Yeah, uh, Flor de Cano is a great, great rum, which is made in Nicaragua. And I recommend it a lot. It is delicious. Um, it really is delicious. So anyway, how are we doing with this? I mean, um, might maybe mind smoking a little fast. I don't know. Yeah, well, I, I typically smoke uh, a little bit faster than a normal person, but it's it, it's really mellowed out for me. Yeah, me too. Um, it's definitely medium, so it yeah. lives up to that. Uh -huh. And it does have that um, Nicaraguan earthiness, you know, yeah. to it. But it's and it's got you know it's 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 got just enough sweetness, you know, to keep me satisfied. Yeah. But it also has this kind of um, that that woody note. And it, it has that familiar mm. Antonio flavor, without a doubt, but n not so much the power that, uh, that, that, you know, that's, that will yeah. get you sick or because, whatever. Because, uh, like I said, I had an Antonio in 1970 last week, because I hadn't had one in a long time. And I said, you know, let's try this cigar, you know, and it was really, really delicious. And I said, well, now I can compare, you know. And this does have, you know, when you retrohale, it, that's where you really get that, I think, sure. that Nicaraguan kick. Yeah. You know, but in the smoke, which is pretty dense, I mean, it's really nice, thick, and creamy smoke. It's really smooth. Um, it's a totally different experience. Yeah. So, you know, if you're not into retrohaling or, you know, you want to learn how to do it or whatever, uh, this would be a good cigar to try it on. Definitely. <laughs> but not initially. Smoke it a little bit, wait until the pepper yeah. dies down. Yeah, and then right away because it, it it was it was pretty spicy and peppery in the beginning. Yeah. Jose Blanco once told me he says he says when I retrohale, I do it in the first third. <laughs> That's how he talks. Right? The first third, second third, and the last third. He does it three times just to see how it changes. So um, I try to do that too. But the, the uh, in the first act here, um, it's it's not bad. It's it's you know you do get some nice peppery flavors, mm -hmm. but it's more like spice, peppery yeah. spice. It's not like pepper, you know, like red pepper or black pepper. Mm. It's delicious, though. It really is, yeah. It really is. And it goes great with the coffee. And you have coffee or uh, water today? If coffee. Coffee, okay. Coffee. So anyway, we're going to keep smoking this baby, and we'll see what happens in Act 2. Okay. We're in Act 2. Yeah. Getting down there. What do you think? I am loving this right now. I'm really liking it too. <laughs> it's and it's it, we're shooting this in the morning. Yeah. And I'll tell you, it's a good morning cigar, it right? It is. It's a solid medium, just like they said it was. It's a solid medium cigar. Yeah, and it's and you know what? I'm getting some nice sweetness off the uh, the top here. It's um, just really, really good. I mean, it has a nice mouthfeel. You know, yeah. the smoke is creamy. It's velvety. Um, I'm not getting a ton of flavors. Like I'm getting, like I like what I'm getting, but right. I'm not getting. It's not. It's not maybe the most complex cigar. It's not as complex as maybe the original, right, Antonio. But it's just really, just really nice. I you think. Know? I think that uh, you know, uh, a smoker that is um, uh, newer to cigars mm -hmm. will really enjoy this. I mean, we've I been smoking a long, long time. So, yeah. so I guess our palate is always craving more and more. Yeah. You know. But, uh, but I think this is a great cigar for someone who is um, a novice. I agree. And, and how would you compare this to the Hoya Red? Because I like that one too. It's very interesting. Strength-wise, mm -hmm. I think this has a little bit more strength mm -hmm. than, than the Red. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. But I, I also think this has a little bit more flavor than the Red. OK. OK. And uh, another great ash. Look at that. Really, yeah. really nice. So um, anyway, we, during the break, we were talking about Dr. Alejandro Martinez Cuenca. Yeah. And oh, I met once. Very nice gentleman. What I a think great he was guy. here when we had the cigar novel yeah. or something like that. And um, he gave me a Cuatro Cinco. Lucky. And that was very good. Yeah. <laughs> very nice man. So you met him. Tell us a little bit about him. Yeah. So, so um, he's uh, the president, I guess, of right. Hoya de Nicaragua. So right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's the owner. Yeah. Well, I, I met him, uh, I guess, in 2005 when I had my own cigar shop mm -hmm. and uh, we had a cigar dinner uh, and, uh, you know, a little tiny shop in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and he, he came to my store and wow. we had a cigar dinner. 
No you kidding. Know, and w what a nice guy. And he talks with such passion yeah. for the industry. Yeah. And the tobacco and the cigars that he makes. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, super nice, very knowledgeable. And, and when, when you talk to him, you, you just feel like you want to smoke his cigars yeah. even more. Yeah, he's, he's just, 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 he has a lot of charisma. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And, and, and charisma, I mean, he, the guy's smart too. Oh, uh, yeah. He, he, uh, he's a I, finance guy originally, yeah, right? Right. I, I, I believe that he was uh, the chief economist for Nicaragua. Wow. Back then. I don't know if he still is today, but, uh, you know, he's a guy of all traits. He, yeah. I believe he owns his own helicopter company. Helicopter. Uh, That's matter pretty Yeah. Cool. Matter of fact, uh, two, about two years ago, mm -hmm. when I was down in Nicaragua for Cigar Safari, mm -hmm. and that weekend was the weekend that uh, the revolution broke. It, it started. Mm -hmm. So we were actually stuck in Nicaragua. Wow. In Esteli. And you can hear the, you know, like gunfire, bombs oh going my God. off. And <laughs> the, the Pan American Highway was on fire and they <laughs> shut it down. And, and we, the Pan American we, Highway is like this wide. Yeah. <laughs> and Literally. We, and that's <laughs> the only way back yeah. to Managua, to the airport. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, so there was even talk about getting a helicopter escort out wow. to, to the airport. Yeah. Uh, but luckily, we, we did find our way uh, to the airport mm -hmm. just in the nick of time, just before they shut down the airport. Scary. Yeah, yeah it wow. was exciting. Anyway, so this cigar is not only nice, it is affordable. It is under $8. Whew. Uh, at uh, famous-smoke.com, where you can buy these, uh, it goes for about seven sixty. Oh, that's a steal! At this time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the prices do go. No, but uh, no, it's a very. Uh, I'll tell you. I think it's definitely worth absolutely seven eight bucks. I mean, absolutely. and I mean just the quality alone. i You can tell they used really good tobaccos. They, I mean, they wouldn't screw around with this. Right. I mean, this is Antonio. It's got the Antonio name on it. They have a reputation of preserve and. Um, the craftsmanship, the, the the way it's rolled, it's mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah, the I mean, I, I couldn't even find the seams, to tell you the truth, when I was, uh, you know, cutting it. And it, even the cap is just holding up there. And you know what? I don't usually do a V-cut, but I just said, oh, what, for, just for the hell of it yeah. today, you know? And it's really, yeah. it's drawing great. And, 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 and you know, we, we touched uh, on this topic about this particular size and actually uh, any small cigar, mm -hmm. you know, would you say the smaller the ring gauge, the more intense the flavor. Well, so, so if, if you were to try this same cigar right. in a Toro or Robusto, a little bit thicker, yeah. would, would it change? I believe so. In fact, Jared just wrote an article about that um, where he compared like the smallest cigar in the line to the biggest cigar in the line. And um, so you can check that out on cigaradvisor.com. And um, I agree. I think you're getting more wrapper. Yeah. And he used a beautiful wrapper. And it's really, it's really flavorful. But yeah, if I were to smoke, say the um, what was it, a five by fifty-two yeah. Toro, yeah, you're stuff. gonna probably get more smoke, maybe even a little more flavor, but you're gonna get more of the interior than right. say the wrapper. But uh, the wrapper really does a nice job in this. I would say that if based on what we've smoked so far, if you wanted more power or just you know you just like a stronger tasting cigar, then maybe the uh, Bellicoso or the uh, Toro or even the Robusto would be, and one of the other bigger sizes would be good for you. But I like this. Yeah. I could definitely stick with this. I agree. I'm still getting a, like a mostly like an oaky note, like a wood, like wood. woody flavor, right. and um, just that little bit of sweetness coming off of it. Yeah, but the cedar is very pronounced right yeah. now for me. If you're getting more cedar. Yeah. I don't and know. I, something I, like, something I, like I can't that. tell. Yeah, I, like I do that. too. I do too. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's and, um, now that we're kind of getting closer into the uh, last third, it's the power starting to kick in a little bit. I can taste it. Intensifying. You know, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. I love it. All right. Well, let's see what happens in Act Three. All right. We're in Act Three. I'm here with Kong Fam, famous smoke shop buyer. He buys way the Nicaragua cigars, and so he knows a lot about them, and that's why we had him in here today. Also, he's a great guy. Thanks for having me. Again. No, I mean that too. Thank you. And the packaging of this cigar is really beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful, bright red box. 
and nice for Christmas, right? Nice Christmas gift. Perfect. And um, it's so pretty solid too. It has 20 cigars. It has a beautiful little red ribbon here, so you can pop that first one out there. And this has just been amazingly consistent. Yeah. It's real. Actually, it's it's now that we're down near the end, where it would normally get bitter. Mm -hmm. uh, with a lot of cigars, it is not bitter, mm -mm. and it is really nice. And some of that Nicaraguan strength is coming through too. So right. you get a little bit of that. Yep, definitely intensified. Mm -hmm. Would you say? Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm getting a lot more flavor. Yeah, and in the retrohale, a lot more of that cedar note. Uh, you say it to be good for a starter, right? right? Someone who's just getting into cigars. What uh, about guys like us? I. I think this would appeal to just about anybody, yeah. You know, because you know we, we've like like I said, we've been smoking for decades, and yeah, and I love it. I do. I really do. You know, I'm big genuine it's, uh, about it. It's, it's, it's not, excellent. It's not too mild that it, it would bore me, but right. uh, but it's it's got all the right notes, the strength, mm -hmm. the flavor. It's all there, yeah. And uh, it's mild enough for someone who's starting out. I agree. And what would you pair with it? Besides the coffee, which everybody... Everybody, you know, is a, yeah. You know, coffee goes with everything. Yeah, we say this all the time. Yeah, <laughs> you must be bored. Oh, here goes the coffee again. But uh, what do you think? I think, I, I think a, a, a light rum would be great with this. Okay. You know, I had a feeling you were say that. Yeah, usually <laughs> I would say beer. Because, right. uh, you know, You're a I, beer guy? Yeah, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I love my IPAs. But mm -hmm. I think uh, a light rum would really be great with this. I agree. How about maybe like a Flor de Cana, or is that Flor too? No, 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 a Flor de Cana would be great. Right. I was just gonna yeah. say that. Yeah, Flor de Cana, or any really good rum. Zafra would be good with this. Yeah. Um, maybe not so much like Zacapa, which is okay. a little bit more full and su yeah. like uh, more sweet. Mm -hmm. um, something like uh, like the you know Flor de Cana yeah. would be just and, it, and Flor de Cana is nice and smooth too. It's really nice, like the cigar. Affordable. So I got, I got like just over, I guess just under or about two inches here, yeah. and it's still great. You might have to break out the roach clip. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I do, I have one, you know, in the office. <laughs> when I'm really digging it, I get down to that uh, quarter inch almost. Yeah. But this has really been a great uh, cigar, and I highly recommend it, especially for new smokers and, you know, if you really want to break into the Hoya of Nicaragua brand, mm -hmm. uh, especially the Antonio. Yeah, this, you might want to smoke this first before yeah. you go to the regular Antonio. I, I agree, definitely. This will kind of warm me up, you yeah. know? So anyway, Kong, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me again. We had a great time, yeah. as always. And this, this Hoya de Nicaragua Antonio Corona Gorda mm -hmm. has been uh, Corona Gorda, Connecticut, right? right. Uh, has been actually absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to please follow CigarAdvisor.com. Also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on Instagram and sign up for our emails. And when you go to YouTube to watch this video, if you like the cigar or if you just like the subject, like the video. And while you're on YouTube, subscribe and click on that little bell so you get notifications when videos like this come up. And once again, Kong, thanks for coming up. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Hashtag Now Smoking. Happy smokes. <laughs>